you ladies, come, come. Come over here so you can actually see. Uh, it will be on video, but... Um, oh, we start taking right? Okay, cool. Or maybe we started? No, that's fine. Okay. Um, so, you know, when we started and we did uh, traction moves and then we brought here and we started doing Palmer compression. And then we went right into... I'm just going to hike these up a little bit. Um, we did thumb compression. Now, and I said, you know, around the ankles and into the arches of the feet and into the plantar or bottom surface of the feet. And I'd really like you to continue to do that. But there's a series of points that you can include, which are source points, that help balance the energy uh, in, the, in the body. So uh, the one that we know already is the spleen meridian, right, at the, big, uh, the base of the big toe bone. So we can go into that point. Another one that I'd like you to do is right in between the big toe and uh, the second toe, and I'd like you to feel this on your own, on yourself. Just like the large intestine source point on the hand, this one is on the dorsal surface of the foot, and it's in between the big toe and the second toe. You go up until the person says they do indeed feel a dull ache. You all feel that on yourself? That's the source. Who, does anyone not feel it? I don't. Um, that's the source point for the liver, so that helps balance the liver. And it's, you can easily include it when you're doing these initial contacts here. So you can do spleen, the base of the big toe, liver, which is in between the big toe and the second toe here. Um, so that's spleen, liver. And then there's another one, kidney, which is, this is the medial malleolus. Okay? And in between the medial malleolus and the Achilles tendon, which is the uh, tendinous attachment of the gastroc as it attaches onto the heel bone or calcaneus. In this little valley here, in between the Achilles tendon and the medial malleolus, is the source point for the kidney meridian. And you'll feel that indentation, and the pressure should be towards the ankle. So do that on yourself and see if you can feel that. You all feel that? Anyone not feel it? Okay. You don't feel it? Now you feel it? All right. Okay, so those points, yes? So that's uh, spleen, liver, and kidney. Now, in doing the source points and then continuing in with the compression, to make the work a little bit more direct, we want to thumb these channels. Uh, so the, the supo is a acupressure point on a line that goes into the body. And the three yin meridians of the leg are spleen, which starts at here, liver, which starts here, and kidney, which starts on the bottom of the foot. So what we're going to do is, at some point, I want you to start thumbing these lines. So for spleen meridian, you start the lower corner of the nail, and thank you all for your creative interpretations of where the meridian started and ended. I learned a lot by reading, by reading your quizzes, thank you. Um, and it goes right into the side of the toe and then source points here, the base of the big toe. You go right into the arch in front of the ankle, and then, excuse me, I'll just do this. Uh, then the spleen meridian is up underneath the tibia, and to get the uh, spleen meridian, you want to do what's called hooking. So the pad of your thumb hooks up under the tibia. That's where the spleen meridian is. So try that on yourselves, please. Feel? That's okay. Oh, yeah. I feel my spleen meridian. <laughs> you, have, you got to hook up underneath the tibia. That's where spleen is. I know. <laughs> That's why you notice I'm not doing it on myself. <laughs> so... And that spleen meridian comes right up to here. We're going to bust this down old school stuff. <laughs> knee bone, leg bone, <laughs> leg bone into the knee bone. Spleen meridian underneath the leg bone until it bumps into the knee bone. See, you can't go anymore. And there's another indentation up underneath there. And then there's a point up in there. So. So you just follow the spleen from the tip of the toe 
underneath the tibia, right to here. Yeah. You okay. said over the ankle, so you mean over in front the of the ankle. Okay. Not behind, in front of the ankle. Okay. So now this meridian continues up, straight up. So if you're doing it on yourself, it starts here, 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 up underneath the tibia, and just continue that line straight up, straight up. Straight up. That's one channel, uh, part of the channel, spleen meridian. The spleen meridian continues and, and ends on the side of the body, but as far as the legs go, that's how you uh, address that channel as it passes through the leg. That's spleen. Capiche? Spleen? Okay. So that's spleen. Now the liver, where the spleen started here, the liver starts here on the opposite side of the toenail. And again, when you're doing liver, you can compress right into the side of the toe. And then right into the webbing, you get the source point. Okay, and that's it. Okay. Now, the liver meridian also passes in front of the ankle. But where the spleen meridian was right up underneath the bone, the liver is about a thumb width more towards the midline. So it's just right into uh, the leg. So it's like halfway between the bone and this outer contour of the leg. That's the liver right And like I mentioned, when you're doing this, you want to try to you want to keep the work in front of you and try not to work out of rotation so that you can utilize a, a straight arm and that you can use your body weight a little bit more efficiently. Okay. And then it, it goes straight up just straight up into the adductors for a little. I've seen a lot of people make it. <laughs> this tight liver face. I've seen it thousands of times. It's an angry situation. Oh, very good. Oh, Nicole busted out the emotional content of the liver. <laughs> it's the anger. <laughs> That's the emotion associated with them. Gallbladder and liver is anger. Okay. Okay, and then the kidney meridian is the only meridian that starts on the bottom of the foot. So when you look at the bottom of the foot, um, in line with the middle toe, straight down underneath the bony arch, there's a little indentation there. And that is not the source point, but that's the beginning of the kidney meridian. Uh, in Chinese medicine, the kidney meridian holds all your energy, both your prenatal and your postnatal, meaning the energy you take in this lifetime. So it's a reservoir of all your energy. So you want to work the kidney meridian to help enhance and sustain your energy. Uh, the beginning of the kidney meridian, kidney one, is called bubbling spring. So it's sort of like if you think about all that goodness bubbling up and going up the body to help nourish and give energy to the rest of the body. Bubbling spring. Uh, then the meridian comes up like this, where the uh, first two went in front of the ankle. This one comes up and goes behind the ankle. And this is where the source point is, right in between the Achilles tendon and uh, the malleolus, just sinking in there. And then straight up from there. So it's like three straight lines just going up the whole, starting on the foot and Continuing up through the leg and out to the torso. So, so we're going to start doing these three lines. And now, I'm sorry, sorry. no, please go. What, what you do you know, mean? in between the gastrocs, uh, that's, is that the line? No, that's we're not uh, behind it. We're on the side of it. Okay. So that's another one. That's the bladder meridian, which is right on the back of the leg. We're on the side the inner side of the leg. We're not going all the way in between the gastroc. If you've done that, you've gone too far. I was just curious because of, yeah. It's close. It's very close. But So these are the three meridians that come up the leg like that. Now how you do it and when you do it is completely up to you. But I want you to start working these lines in the leg. And when I say when you do it, meaning that you could do it this way. You know, you could start and when you're doing the thumbing, you could do them simultaneously and go up this way if you want. You know, you could work them, you know, work them that way. Or else you could work it this way. 
you know, you could work them with the leg bent and work it this way if you want. Or else, uh, would you put the inside line? This is a favorite way of doing it because it's all right here, laid out in front of you, and it's supported by the mat. So you might want to wait to do those channels when they're in sideline. So you know when you're doing this, compressing this leg upward, you can compress, right, to loosen it, do some general loosening, and then you can come back and do the lines because they're all very nice and supported in front of you. And you can do the beginning of the spleen meridian, which I'm going to ask you to do. Do the source point, and then just work that line straight up. And then you can do liver, which is on the inside. The source point is in the webbing. This comes in front of the ankle. And then just comes where spleen is here, liver is here, kidney is here. So you come over just a little bit and sink in. And this, like being specific to muscle direction and fiber when you're doing massage therapy, when you know that, you bring in a little bit more specificity. This is the same. Where now you're going right into the channel. And you're clearing this pathway to the organ. And when you clear out these channels and the chi and the blood can flow more readily, then you operate at a more optimal level. You know, it helps you get not only your physical body, but your emotional body in more of a state of alignment so you can uh, act and react to whatever comes on your path when you're doing your life. That's liver and kidney, the only meridian that starts on the bottom of the foot. And to get a little bit more of a specific pathway of the meridian, check out uh, those handouts online that we put on there, or else yinyanghouse.com, uh, which has that pathway. Because I want you to be familiar with these, uh, oh, we're great, three leg lines. Okay? Okay, thank you.